and welcome to today's edition of the Mouse Bites. Now the Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now today we're going to talk about something that is a huge change for the Walt Disney World Resort and that is in relation to those who rent wheelchairs and strollers from outside companies. So the Walt Disney World Resort has changed their policy for those who rent strollers and wheelchairs from outside vendors starting today, October 1st. Now for those who order these items, um, after today, uh, you will need to meet with a representative from the company for the delivery and the return pickup of the rented item. So what that means is if you are renting from an outside company, you need to make sure that you are there and meeting with the person or the company that you are renting that item from. So uh, you'll also need to make sure that when it's time to return that item, you meet with the same company to return the item. Now before, uh, there was a select number of vendors who uh, Disney did work with that allowed uh, Disney uh, those vendors to drop off those wheelchairs and strollers, uh, and then Disney would deliver them to the room. However, that is no longer the case anymore. I do believe I have seen though that Disney is working with um, a couple of um, uh, brands that um, are allowing it. Uh, however, I want to make sure I do a little more research on that because that information came out over the weekend and I, I haven't really fully been able to research it yet. So stay tuned, I will have more information on that. Um, for those who have rented a stroller or wheelchair prior to October 1st, they will still be able to have those items delivered and picked up through the resort's luggage desks. So if you ordered your stroller before today, you're going to be able to have those items picked up and delivered. Um, without any issue. Uh, now, so far this policy does not impact those who are using grocery delivery services, and as of right now, it appears that those items will continue to be able to be delivered as normal. Now, I have seen that a few stroller rental companies, um, as well as potentially wheelchair rental companies, are meeting with guests at the Orlando airport. Um, so there are a few companies that have are working with other companies that have desks at um, the airport, so guests can easily rent uh, strollers there, pick up their strollers and wheelchairs there. Um, again, more information is going to be needed as we move forward, and I will make sure that I share that information with you as we find it out. So um, this is clearly a moving uh, topic right now. We're not entirely sure where all the pieces are going. So uh, I know it's a little vague, but just stay tuned and I will make sure to share all the details. Now, let's get to something a little bit different. And that is I got to be one of the first guests to ride the Disney Skyliner. I was there on opening day. So I was an opening day rider of the Disney Skyliner. And I have to say, uh, it is a very wonderful transportation system. Uh, the ride itself is incredibly smooth. It's very quiet. However, uh, there are some times where there are announcements that are being made into the cabin, kind of like what happen um, if you're riding the monorail, you know, how they have the announcements telling you about uh, the resort overall and things like that. These same kind of announcements happen um, in the cabins uh, at on the Skyliner. Didn't happen in every single cabin. Um, again, it was opening day, so I feel like maybe some of the cabins just maybe weren't working correctly as far as the announcements were concerned um, and information and, and that, that was being shared. But um, again, I give them a little bit of, of uh, you know, slack for that. Um, in addition, uh, so guests are able to wheel on strollers. It is uh, a very easy thing to do. Now the gondola system does continuously move as you're boarding, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but so make sure you're watching where you're stepping. In addition, if you are in a wheelchair, they do have a separate entrance for guests in wheelchairs to be able to uh, get into one of the gondolas that are specifically for those with wheelchairs. Um, and so they have that area so that way you don't have to, you know, be along the moving gondola system while you're trying to get your wheelchair in there. So that they have a, um, an area where they stop and then they will be loaded onto uh, the, the, the system as it moves forward. So um, in addition, uh, I did get to 
to feel the temperatures inside the gondolas. They are very pleasant. Uh, the wind uh, does work very well. The ventilation system that they have, it, like I said, it, it is a wind ventilation system. And um, like I said, it, it worked very well. Um, I did get stopped a couple of times. I don't know how it works when you are up in the air if the ventilation still kind of continues to come through. I was actually stopped twice and both times were uh, in a station. I will admit inside the station, it got a little warm in the gondola just because, again, we didn't have any breeze in the station. It was just, you know, your stepped gondola to gondola. So um, <laughs> there it got a little warm, um, but the gondolas were moving rather quickly. Uh, the, the delay was maybe five minutes each time I got delayed. Uh, so it wasn't like it was an entirely long thing. Um, guests who go to, uh, who use the gondolas, you can board at Epcot um, Hollywood Studios, or you can board at one of uh, the resorts. There are three resorts that you can board at, well, technically four. There's the combination of Pop Century and Art of Animation. Then there's uh, the Caribbean Beach Resort, as well as eventually the Riviera Resort when that officially opens in December. So um, what guests do is if they get on at Epcot, they will ride uh, through to the Riviera Resort. Uh, my understanding is if you are not getting off at the Riviera, you do get to continue on. Uh, if you are staying at the Riviera, there will be some gondolas that will um, be released that are empty and then you can get onto the empty gondolas uh, at that point. Once you go through the uh, Riviera Resort, uh, you then go and make your way on to Caribbean Beach. Now, the length of time between the uh, Epcot and Caribbean Beach is probably the longest stretch of time that you will have on the gondolas. Uh, it was about 11 minutes or so, give or take, um, from point A to point B. You will have to get off the gondolas at Caribbean Beach, so just keep that in mind. If you want to go to um, Pop Century slash Art of Animation or uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, you still have to get off um, at the gondola station at, at Caribbean Beach. They have, it is a nice little hub right there. Uh, they have bathrooms. Uh, they have added a Joffrey's coffee kiosk right outside. So that way if you need some coffee or whatever, uh, you can, or snack, you can grab that right there. Uh, then you will get in line for either, like I said, the Pop Century um, Art of Animation loop or go to Hollywood Studios loop. Uh, the loops to Hollywood Studios take about six minutes or so um, from Caribbean Beach. The loop to Art of Animation Pop Century takes about eh, five minutes or so, so not entirely too long. Um, so other than that, I think that's pretty much it about the gondolas. Um, again, it was super easy, super convenient. Uh, I did all the lines, so I have experience with that. Um, I did hear that the gondolas, uh, they don't have necessarily an opening time right now. Um, it's kind of in flux, uh, but I suspect it will at least be an hour prior to park opening. Um, and then uh, the closing time is an hour after park closing as of right now. So keep that in mind that things can change, but that's kind of where we are right now. Um, if you have any questions about riding the gondolas, feel free to, oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention. Uh, so when the park is busy or when the gondolas uh, are busy, they will put more than one person in a gondola, so more than one party. Just keep that in mind. You may not be alone in your go own gondola. Now we had instances where we were alone in a gondola, it just kind of depended on who, you know, who was behind us and how many people were waiting to get on the gondola system. So when it was a crazy busy time uh, and at the Caribbean Beach hub to get back to um, Epcot as well as to get to Hollywood Studios, it was busy. Again, opening day, so I expected that. Um, we were put with other people when we were riding in those gondolas. Um, but when we were going to Pop Century, and back, uh, we were alone in our own gondola. So, uh, you know, it just kind of depends on how many people are in line. So if you have questions, like I was saying, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer anything that I can answer. Um, of course, a lot of people have been wondering about uh, the gondola system and storms, things like that. Never fear, Disney uh, has kind of a similar system in place uh, for the boat transportation. So if there are thunderstorms in the area, don't worry, you're not gonna be stuck on a gondola. They will be monitoring the storms and they will be um, 
taking guests off in time so that they are not impacted by any thunderstorms that are coming through. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, it's, you're not going to be out there in the middle of a thunderstorm with, you know, in the gondola. So you're going to be safe there. Um, anyway, like I said, ask any questions you have in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, that's going to do it for today's edition of the Mouse Bites. Um, I had a great weekend at Walt Disney World, did Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, Halloween Horror Nights, um, as well as a little bit of food and wine, and I got to see Illuminations for the last time, which was fantastic. If you have any questions about any of the things uh, that I did this weekend, feel free to ask those in the comment section as well. Um, so if you have questions about Not So Scary or Halloween Horror Nights or a little bit of food and wine, I would be happy to answer those questions too. So uh, I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great day. Okay.